Hi there, my name is Taro Iwamoto. I am a Feldenkrais Christ practitioner. And based on a request that I received from one of the viewers, and I'm going to show you how to scrub and clean the bathtub without straining and hurting your back. And so there are many ways, of course, to, uh, to, uh, to clean the bathtub. And, um, but I'm going to show you just a couple different ways and how to apply the Feldenkrais and uh, martial arts movement principles and to ease the stress and strain on your back and uh, while you're cleaning your bathtub. So if you're on the outside of the tub, kneeling, okay, or um, half kneeling, or any position, if you're doing this motion, right? Okay, so the first of all, I want you to understand that um, just from a physics standpoint, you don't want, you want to be as close to the area that you are cleaning and to your body as possible. If you are far away from the top and then you're reaching far and you don't really have a good mechanical advantage and so that's going to increase um, an effort and on your back and so that's not going to work well so be sure to get as close to the top as you can and then to do that so if you're facing this way okay facing the top and then going the side to side motion and you can of course do all the movement with your hand or like last time if you watched the previous video and how to dust the furniture and using the whole body uh, and same principles so you can use your hips okay so shift your weight side to side and to to move your arm and so that you can scrub and side to side so that's one way but of course you have to move yourself into clear, close to the side that you're cleaning. If you're reaching way too far, then that's not going to uh, work very well. And another way that you might want uh, to try is you're facing the sideways. Okay. And then you're going forward and back and forward and back. <coughs> and if your knees are issues, and of course uh, you can't kneel down, use a kneading pad or um, you can sit in a low stool chair or something like that. Uh, but also, in this case, if you're kneeling and doing this way, and you might find that uh, coming up onto the half kneeling position, it might be a little bit easier because you have a wider base of support. And you can apply the same principles, shifting away from one knee to the front foot, and going back and forth, and back and forth, okay? So let your legs drive that movement and then you use your hand. Of course, um, if you want to scrub pretty good and if you, you need to uh, press a little bit and scrub uh, pretty good. And so you do have to use some strength in the arm and shoulders too. But let, that, uh, the, let the legs be the primary driver for the movement. Going back and forth and back and forth like so. And when you get to further in here, of course, I, okay, so how do I do it? I wouldn't try to go over here, okay, and that me, that's not gonna uh, make my back feel good after a while and after just doing it even a few minutes. So what I would do, um, I'm just showing what I would do, it doesn't mean that you, this is the only way that you do, and this, there are more ways and you'll probably come up with the better ways than I do. <coughs> I straddle and well actually I can sit here one foot in the top and then the other foot outside the top and you can do you know you can switch arms whichever works better it gives you better leverage you can play with that okay but make sure you transfer the weight and then same principles using your your whole body to shift forward and back. Experiment if it makes it easier to have both feet in the top and you can go forward and back, forward and back, or you might just kneel down here and then you can do the same thing. So uh, the basic uh, the principles would be 
and you want to get close to the object and as close as possible and that gives you a better leverage and mechanical advantage okay and that's number one when that is possible and sometimes the uh, you can't you can do that um, but when you can and trying to get your body as close to the object as possible and then the second thing is and play with the uh, placement of your legs okay you may try kneeling on both you may try half kneeling what I call the half kneeling one knee one foot up and then changing switch hands and experiment on which one works better okay so if I'm doing this way just for fun I may sometimes try to go like this way or I may go like this way so just bring in incorporate a little bit of you know the fun and playful aspect into the cleaning and to make it a little fun and not just uh, you know uh, something that needs to be done yes it needs to be done but you must you can also make it a little fun and uh, make it a movement fun movement practice by experimenting with how you do it you change in the positions and then paying attention and how you can use the whole body to do this movement and then in what position in which arm and in what uh, uh, in what the kneeling position that gives you better leverage and advantage and you can play with that okay so there are tons of different ways to do that but I'd like you to experiment that okay but the, the principle will be the same okay so how do you move and how do you initiate the movement okay and if you're or making your arms and do all the scrubbing and and that's um, well that's not gonna be very helpful and you're gonna get tired pretty quickly you feel the soreness and the fatigue in your shoulders your neck and in your low back okay so just uh, pay attention and how you move and transfer the weight and try to find a way that you can actually use the whole body to to do the scrubbing motion and then play with the positions and and the feet and the leg uh, placement and see how that change play with the right hand play with the left hand and see what it does and sometimes you might want to face forward and sometimes you might want to face sideways and how do you which one do you like better okay so have fun with that and now scrubbing the wall so scrubbing the wall same ideas right and you can face you can face forward and go side to side it's easy to do all with your hands that might be fine for a little while but if you're going to do for a long time then okay there's a better way to do that so how do i apply the same principle right so i can't really show you uh in just it's a little tight space i can't change the angle uh the camera angle to show how my legs are moving but I can show you I'm paying attention to my feet I have my feet a little bit wider apart okay and I am doing is the weight shifting from one foot to the other foot and then allowing my body weight to shift from one to the other and then allowing my body to turn and shift a little bit so kind of similar to how I uh, show you how to dust the furniture is in shifting the weight forward and back same thing you can go side to side back to side and in this case uh, you're going to need a little bit more strength and uh, pressure into the into your hand because you have to scrub it okay to make it really clean so go side to side like so it's really like a tai chi movement shifting side to side and again you can face this directions and I can use my right hand and I'm standing with one foot forward and in this case I'm I have my left foot forward and the right foot back and then I'm shifting away from a, a forward and back I can do it like this almost like a drawing a patch going like this motion going forward and back forward and back and I don't know which way you like better but there are uh, I'm applying the same principles using the whole body and moving from my legs and then transferring the weight uh, the movement and to move the whole body from my legs forward and back and to do the work 
here, okay? Instead of nothing here, and then all my movement is taking place with my arm. That's not, that's not very good. Pulling back, pulling back. Okay, that's, okay, <laughs> I think that's it for this one. Um, I hope uh, you find this video helpful, and if you have any other requests, um, regarding the daily activities, another cleaning, whatever, okay, you can think about that uh, that is causing you any challenges and difficulties, back, shoulder, whatever, and uh, that uh, you'd like me to make a video on and let me know. All right, and uh, so I will see you in the next video. Bye now.